Hey guys, um, I thought I'd show you through uh, a recent record that just came out called Untouchable. Uh, this record I started probably four to five years ago. So the project is all over the place, um, missing so many different files and whatnot. Because later on we had to get the vocal changed and then I changed the drop on it a little bit. So I had all the stems, so that's how I redid it and remastered it. But I've just found the old project, which was the original, so I could show you a few things. The main thing of this record, which I love, is the drums. The drum rack is something I use heaps and you know, you can find so many different ones in your packs that you can get on Ableton. Uh, and it gives you a, a large bunch of drums all in one kind of MIDI, which is great. You can just draw and, um, you know, pick where you want each note to go. Uh, and it makes a big drum kit. So I use the kick cop style on this one. So yeah, that was my build-up. Um, as you can see here, uh, it actually names all the different um, you know, instruments and what parts of the drum kits. All right, uh, my next favorite thing would probably have to be the guitar pluck. That's not even the original, <laughs> that's the one I replaced. That's kind of the original. I think this is a great call and response to the lead. So the lead is the... So together. So this is the new stem, which I... Um, changed, I, I changed from the old one because the old one sounded a little bit... Uh, it sounds a bit 2012. There it is. When Spin Records hit me up about the song, they said, look, I think this is great, but uh, the drop needs to sound much more new and 2019 kind of. So this is what I came up with. Now, how I did that was, this is just a chop from the original vocal. So if you see down here, came from the actual vox of, um, yeah, the untouchable vocal. Obviously, I just put some reverb on it, some Vela, bit of satin to all the producers out there. They know that this is gr a great tool to make things brighter and just a, a low cut to take out all the low. And then lay that with this. A few pitch bends on there. Pretty simple processing, just a bit of reverb. Um, I use Lethal. If you're not feeling creative with, you know, starting a lead from scratch and you go through here, the presets are great and you can really tweak them so they sound unique, which is what I love about Lethal. So, that with the vocal chop, it goes great. Something I think is really cool with doing piano, because I can't play piano, but if you see here, before each chord progression, I add just one little hit of a note um, to bring in the next one, so it has a cool effect. just something that maybe you want to do in your next uh, production you do if you produce out there. Okay, I guess a lot of people would want to know how the kick and bass work together. So basically I've got two basses, one kick. Um, this is just a kick I call a bounce kick because bounce music is uh, good, nice, short and punchy. Um, even though this isn't a bounce record, but it stops right before an offbeat bass would come in. Um, that's how I've always done it. The bass line is a bit of a Melbourne-y offbeat bass, if you hear it here. That's just a silent kind of saw bass. Now, the main bass, if I can find it, I don't know why I called it drop saw back then, but there it is. Now, where I saw oh, it was a Spire preset. Um, 
But where I side chain everything to, I'd like to show you, send them to a little channel here. And the channel consists of some real short punchy claps. Just nothingness really, but uh, it's enough there to have a nice pump of the um, of the side chain. People say to side chain to your kick drum because you know you want to get your bass away from the the low end of that kick. But um, I think you need some of it to come in before this kick finishes, just to balance out the record. And otherwise, it'll just sound like it's you know a seesaw going up and down. So that's it. A short tutorial of Untouchable. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, thanks for watching. And if you want any more uh, videos, let me know in the comments, and I'll be sure to do another video in the future. Thanks.